Hi guys, you may well remember a few weeks ago I did a review of the RAV Power All-in-One File Hub, the RPWD03 that you can see here. Um, and at the time it's a little bit difficult to kind of explain what the File Hub does. I mean, it can um, it's a wireless router, um, it can do wireless media sharing, which we're kind of going to explain today, and it's got external battery. So basically, for example, if you went to a hotel or somewhere, or a conference room where they only had a wired access to the internet, you could plug this thing in and it would become a wireless router. However, one of the most useful ways of using it is, as you see it right now, where because it's self-powered, it's got its own battery and you can use it as a, as a battery pack as well. I've got it plugged into a hard drive, which means I can then share the uh, files that are on this hard drive with, here we have my laptop, and then we've got an old Nexus 7 uh, tablet and a Moto E uh, second generation um, phone. So this thing hasn't got that much memory and this thing hasn't got that much memory. So this kind of setup would be really, really good because you could use this around the house and then when, when you wanted to watch videos or, um, or, or music or files or anything like that, you could then access the hub over there from these devices. Now imagine we were in a car or something going on holiday, the kids could have their uh, tablets or their phones and they could be streaming movies straight from the hub. So what I thought I'd do is I'd kind of demo it on, on all these things so you kind of, kind of roughly see how it works. So first things first, we'll go to, we'll do the laptop. Now this might not show up that well on the, on the screen. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to fire up the file hub software which is there. Again, apologies for the quality, um, but that's going to uh, fire up in the browser. And so this is like the, the software that pops up. And then what you can do is you go to the Explorer, and this is now logging into the to, my, to the file hub and my hard drive over there. And then what you can probably see here is where it says USB volume one. So that's the hard drive. So I'm accessing that wirelessly. Now, just in case you're wondering as well, is although I'm accessing this wirelessly via our, our wireless via a wireless connection to the file hub, um, I am still able to access the internet because it kind of skips through the hub. So if I, I've got to be careful what I show because I can't show you anything. So we're still accessing the internet. I can't show you any um, copyrighted stuff because it will it will flag up on YouTube. So let's go into this USB disk, and what I've done is I've set up a demo folder there, and so just so you can see. So let's start off with so a video. So imagine this is a film. So I can click on that. There we go. And that video is streaming from the hard drive over there onto my laptop. How cool is that? So let's get let's get rid of that. And then what we've got some music here as well. So let's just play that. Cool. And then we've also got uh, a podcast. Hi everybody, I'm still here. Yours <laughs> truly. Don't worry. <laughs> SEL has not gone. Brilliant. Now, with those sort of things, with movies and music and podcasts, it's a streaming type of media. You can you can stream it no problem. But certain things you can't stream, for example, PDFs or, or ebooks. I tend to just have lots of PDF, but say you had magazines on it like this this one here, what will happen is you'll probably see down in the bottom left hand corner um, the, the software through the browser is having to load the whole of the file because you can't stream a PDF file, can you? You know, it has to load it all locally um, and then you can uh, look at it uh, kind of that way. So that, that's a sort of magazine I've downloaded. Which is really really good but imagine on on the uh, hard drive over there there could be thousands of magazines you know you wouldn't necessarily want to load up your hard drive with all these things and um, but you can see that kind of work in that way and in fact I tell you what, let's do let's do a book next so again we click on this and again because it's a PDF and it's not a streaming media it's got to download it all uh, locally to the um, to the browser first before we can then um, before we can then dive in and uh, start reading it. It's quite, it's quite a big PDF, so again, this is all doing being done wirelessly. That should pop up now. There it is. And then we could 
just read our book. Which is really good. Or anybody else who's got access to the hub on their phones or on their tablets could. Now while we're here as well, because it's quite a big screen there, so it's easy to, to kind of see. Um, you can also manage the files, so you can tick these boxes and then you can transfer stuff um, to your local PC as well. So you can see it kind of working on a laptop there. So what we'll do now is let's let's flip over and see it kind of working on this um, this old Nexus 7, which again is quite a good example because it's an old um, tablet, so it hasn't got much memory, so you wouldn't want to load it up with with films and stuff like that. Now this might be a little bit tricky for me to record. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, well, you can kind of. You can, there's a bright, a bright light above my head, isn't there? Um, so there we go. So what we're going to do, funnily enough, on this old Nexus 7, the Air Store app seems to be the best one to use to access the File Hub rather than the File, Pl File Hub Plus. And then what you would normally see here, see, we've gone in already to the uh, to the hub, and it's USB disk. Then if we go into Rob's Docs and we go into the demo folder. Again, we've got those, those files, so let's have a look at that video and imagine that this was, wasn't was a video, that it was actually a film or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if it flicks it around or not, actually. Hi, everybody. I just Sorry wanted to share um, a, a little kind of uh, I, is it an idea. How cool is that? Anyway. And again, that is streaming from the hard drive through the hub to this old tablet. That. And I really fancy starting my own YouTube channel. So let's come out of that and then what else have we got? Oh, some music. Uh, podcast. Hi everybody, I'm still here. I'm back, don't worry. <laughs> and then we've kind of got, um, let's have a look at that magazine, see what happens there. And again, you see it's having to load it all locally because you can't stream with a PDF. So it's loading it all up to the computer, to the uh, laptop, to the spot we're talking about, to the tablet, and then I can read it. And this this is brilliant, I think, the fact that you can then, you know, you can then do this um, because it's, especially with older devices, you just haven't got the memory to load up like all your magazines and your films and stuff. But with the fact that you can load them all wirelessly like that um, is great. Um, so that's kind of the. Uh, oh, we were going to do a book as well, weren't we? Let's, let's have a quick look at the book. Um, what we got? Let's press that one. Again, you can see it's loading it all locally because you can't stream a PDF. I've said that a few times, haven't I? And that is going to pop up in just a sec. It's all, it's all pretty fast. There we go. And you could read the book at your leisure without having to block up all your memory. And then I guess the, the kind of final thing while we're still on the tablet is again we can there might be certain files that you can't play from within the uh, within the device. So what you can do is you you click this or tap on the manage like that, and then you can select things, and then you can then move them um, between um, the uh, the hard drive over there via the file hub to your local device in this case tablet so there we go so that's the tablet let's put that one out of the way in fact i will do a demo actually in a second right so what we've got here now gosh the screens are awfully dirty <laughs> you don't realize you've got a bright light shining on them in fact i think it's my uh, my phone's shining it's light. so this uh, the video camera so so this is a moto e second generation which is a a budget phone so it's a, you know it's a really nice phone but it's got limited memory so again you don't want to be blocking up with loads of stuff um, and you can imagine, say you were going away on holiday or something, um, you'd want the kids to be off to access. It is, this is a sort of typical phone you might buy for a kid, actually, because it's fairly, it's fairly cheap um, and um, uh, it's reliable. And if they drop it down the toilet, it doesn't really matter. But let's have a go in this. So what you can see in here is again, I go File Hub Plus, and then oop, let's get into the Demo folder. There's the Demo folder. Um, let's start off with some music. There we go. And then we've got the podcast. Hi everybody, I'm still here. I'm back. That's enough of that. And there's a movie. 
well, me. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to share um, a, a little kind of... Uh, I, is it an idea? I don't know. Anyway, if you're watching this and you... And then, finally, we've got the... Uh, well, let's just go straight... Let's go to the magazine, which is probably a bit smaller. All right, yeah. This says, um, no, please, or long press the file to open it. Another application, sorry. Long press it, and it's going to load it locally. And then, boop, it's going to put it into... There we go, PDF reader. Obviously, PDFs and books aren't that great to read on these small screens. Well, definitely not uh, magazine PDFs. It can be, be, be a bit difficult. Books aren't too bad. Let's just go into the... Let's load that book up. I'm okay, yeah, so you've got to press and hold. And it loads it locally. Again, you can still do all the managing from this app on the phone. This is actually the File Hub Plus app. Um, and you can, um, you know, move, move stuff around. And there we go, there's that book. And I guess as a kind of a final demo then of what you can do, let's get all the devices streaming uh, me at once. So imagine you're all in the car, you're driving, the missus has got a laptop and the kids have got their tablets and laptops and phones and you all want to watch sort of films. So now the sound on this might be a little bit odd but let's, uh, let's get everything playing. Hi everybody, I just wanted to share um, a, a little kind of, uh, I, is it an idea? I don't know. Anyway, if you're watching this just and you're thinking, oh, I can do that, I, I could probably do better of, uh, than that. And I really fancy starting my own YouTube channel. But you're wondering about whether um, you've got the, the gear to do it, the kit to do it, and all that sort of stuff. I'm here to tell you now, you've probably got everything you need to get started. Right. There's, there's really only three so things you need all to these start files YouTube channel. Well, stream, well, this one file of me is all streaming from for the subject or the file hub at once. I mean, how amazing is this? You can have different films going at once to different devices. Really, really good. But let, let's, the reason for that is because let's pause them. There we go. So I think that's absolutely amazing. You could have all these different devices, everybody watching different films, and it's all streaming via the File Hub Plus from the hard drive. Now remember, when you buy the File Hub Plus, well, the, the, the File Hub, um, the all-in-one File Hub, um, it doesn't come with a hard drive. It's just the router itself, so you need to supply your own hard drive to put stuff off. But I would say definitely the RP WD03 Rad Power All-in-One File Hub is definitely worth having a look at. Um, it's really, really uh, great, and especially for streaming to lots of different devices. Well, I hope that's answered a few of your questions. Maybe if you've got any more, just stick them in the comments down below. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.